We're getting a closer look at what's left of the home that exploded here in Commerce Township. You could see debris everywhere. There's some smoke still smoldering out, but neighbors tell us it was a scary scene this morning. This home explosion had neighbors alarmed in the middle of the night. Fire bursting through what's left of a home on Arbutus Street. This house was engulfed in flame. The roof went up and came back down. Tony Lampert lives a few doors down and his surveillance cameras caught the explosion that lit the dark sky. Huge white explosion and then that's, you know, just it looked like a nuclear bomb went off and you can actually see the dust from my house actually got rattled loose. So it was pretty intense. The dispatch call coming in around 1230 in the morning. Crawford Pittsfield and Barncraft receiving multiple calls that the home just blew up. One person out of the home covered in blood, another still entrapped in the home. Flames and smoke still visible. Investigators found at least six butane tanks inside of the home, leading them to believe drug activity may have caused the explosion. Sometimes used in marijuana processing operations, you can use that gas to extract oil from the marijuana leaves, and that there's a very good possibility that that was uh, a part of this fire. That's this house. This video was taken by Brad McDonald, who has lived behind the home for about 50 years. He says after the explosion, neighbors saw one of the injured men laying on the grass, surrounded by shattered glass and debris. They find a guy that got blowed through the windows on that side of the house out into the yard. And so they drag him away from the building and away from the power lines. With homes close by, it is a surprise that none of the neighbors saw significant damage to their homes. But we did speak with some who say they are upset if this is, in fact, drug related. I'm alarmed. I want, uh, I don't want it in the neighborhood. It's a residential area. I know it's even if it's legal. And again, investigators believe butane tanks are to blame and they're looking to see if any drug activity was involved in this explosion. In Commerce Township, I'm Simon Chowdhury for 7 Action News.